you doing? This is Steve from Steve's Machine Shop in Liberty, New York. We're going to talk a little bit about our balancing process today. We've got a 350 Chevrolet factory iron crank on the balancer today for the customer. This is a street application. We're using the customer's supplied flywheel and a new damper. We precision balance the pistons and connecting rod big and small ends to within one tenth of a gram big and small end and overall. Our machine is set to a tolerance of sensitivity level 2. Street tolerance would be out of balance condition number 2. We're going to spin it up and check our result. an older piece of equipment which is strobe light activated. It's a very early piece of vibration analysis equipment, however extremely sensitive. Once and again, the out of balance tolerance for a street driven vehicle is the numeral 2. Our complete out of balance condition is 5 tenths um, under the numeral 1 meaning that we're balanced well, well below tolerance for racing. Racing tolerance is solid number one, five tenths below that. Although this is an older piece of equipment, many shops refuse to part with them. They park them right next to 2014 digitally controlled equipment and actually compare the results this machine is not swayed by improper setup as far as centering of a digital probe. It simply reads out of balance, having no effect on improper setup. Some of the companies that continue to use this in today's day and age, Richard Childress Racing, Melling Racing, Wise Speed Shop, Buddy Baker, Junior Johnson, Bailey Brothers, Jeg's Performance, Falicon Performance, Larson Racing, Roush Racing, Yancer Specialty, Bolaws Automotive, Garrett Racing, Competition Cams, and many, many more. We're fairly, pretty confident in this older piece of equipment. Uh, with an Eastern States Championship under our belt with a small block Chevrolet. Um, feel free to give us a call, 845-295-0548 with any of your balance questions.